Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy N31LE. And today we're gonna be working on my 2013 Suzuki Hayabusa. So where we are at this stage in the game, everything's almost done. I've got a few things left to do. Um, I'm gonna show you how to install the carbon headlight, the single headlight and the carbon tail light for this bike. Now the, the kit didn't come with instructions, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do an awesome OEM clean install so that all you've got to do is, you know, you don't have anything chopped up or looking crazy on your bike with wires and crap everywhere. We're going to connect it to the OEM harness, put it on the bike just like it came from the factory. Let's do it. Get out the way, you got a watch, you got the time, I'm raising the clock. Even in my feelings, grind don't stop, got big dreams, one big old rocks. I got plans, I got talk, that is real cheap, but it's really going close. All right, so first things first, let's start with the tail light. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is the, um, if you notice like the tail light, I've already cut mine, but you guys can kind of get the point. Go behind and get your uh, your tail light. It should look something like this. Obviously connect it to some wires like so. You know, it'll look something like this. And then um, this is the part that you'll connect to the actual wire harness down here. So I guess, let me just plug all this up. So long story short, your uh, your tail lights should look something like this. If you still got it connected, it'll all be connected like that. You want to go ahead and disconnect your turn signals. And this one's just like you pull up on this tab and pull, pull up on this tab, pull. And then of course, like the OEM wire harness, you press down here, pull this apart, and then the, uh, to get this off, you can just, might be a little bit hard to see. It's a little click tab right here, push that down, pull that off, right? So all this will be connected like this, okay? You can see the um, brown wire right here, red, uh, white wire right here, black wire right here. All you gotta do, these three, cut them, and then you can toss this. This is done, this is useless. Okay, so depending on how you choose to do this, how I chose to go about it with the carbon tail light, I got the two LED option, right? So on the back, I kind of modified it. Um, these little pigtail connectors are $3 at Walmart. Uh, let's see. Anyways, I'll put the item in the description. But um, the $3 at Walmart, if you want to do it this way, you can. I chose to do it this way because it came like this. These are the uh, wires that it came with and they basically just plug together. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to get your white and black wire, put a uh, female connector on there, your brown wire, female connector on there, black and white wire, female connector on there. And if you choose to keep your turn signals, you can keep them. I chose to keep them because I may put the turn signals back on, I don't know yet, but I didn't wanna cut them off and then not have the option to. So for the carbon tail light, what you wanna do is it's gonna come something like this, or it may come different. Um, it, it all depends on how they choose to send it to you. But the two black wires. So if you look at the instructions that Montgomery provides to you, it says to wire the tail light. It's completely backwards from everything that you know, but it says the white wire is the ground, black wire is the power wire, okay? So if you notice, I got the two LED option, like I said. The two white wires are the ground, so I put them together, I cut these, uh, these two off, and basically put them together inside this male connector, and this is my ground. These two are my power wires, right? So essentially the ground goes into one, and I, how I know that this is the ground is basically all the black wires into one. So ground, pop that on there, and these are super easy to install. Forget which one is which. We'll figure it out here in a second. Put that on there, put that on there. But um, if you don't know anything about electrical, these are the tools that you need. Standard wire cutters and um, I don't know what, what, you would, what else you would call them, but wire cutters and like the little pinchy things, you can just pin them down. But like I said, these um, connectors are $3 at Walmart. All you've got to do is put the wire in there, strip it via the wire strippers, and then push them in there and then squeeze them down. That's it, super simple. Um, but yeah, that's all you got to do with the uh, 
the OEM wire harness um, and then just put them together and put them on the bike. So essentially what I had mine wired up to do is the bottom one is the um, constant on light and then this one is the light that comes on when I hit the brakes. They don't stay, the bottom one stays on constant. This is the top one, only comes on when I hit the brakes. So if I put it back together correctly, that's what it should do. It may be flip flop, but like I said, all we gotta do is just flip the wires and that's it. All right, so we've got the tail light here. Obviously it's not powered yet. So go ahead and take your uh, OEM wire connector and put it onto your OEM harness. Okay, so see the light's backwards, so that's not what I want. So I'm, I'm just gonna flip them. So the uh, brown wire, if you want yours set up exactly like mine, the brown wire goes to the, the uh, bottom and the white and black wire go to the top. Okay, so let me make sure I'm showing you guys that correctly. If you're doing mine, if you're doing yours like mine, the bottom light stays constantly on and when you hit the brake, the top one comes on. The, this is how you do it. So, obviously, like I said, the two whites are ground. The black is your, um, your power. So, the white and black wire go to the top. The brown wire goes to the bottom light. So when I plug this in, it should be correct. Okay, so that's exactly how I want it. So like I said, the black, the bottom one is the constant on. And when I hit the brake, the uh, top one comes on. Okay, so that's how you wire up your tail light. Like I said, super simple, super easy. Um, this is the Montgomery carbon tail light with the two LED option. Um, now I'm going to show you how to do the headlight. All right, so the headlight's a little bit more time consuming. Obviously, you've got to take the whole front end of the bike off, which I've already done clearly because I've been working on this for a little while. Um, take your entire front end off and unclip the, uh, the headlight harness from here. Now, now when you pull your headlight out of your uh, upper fairing, it's only, if I remember correctly, it's like four, six bolts or something like that. It's these two up here, these two right here, and then these two at the bottom here, six bolts, and it just comes right out. Um, if I, I could be correct, uh, incorrect on that, it's been a little while. <laughs> um, but the uh, OEM wire harness, like I said, I wanna make this a clean install. So what you're gonna wanna do is this, um, this is the OEM wire harness, right? So this connects to this guy right here, right? So it's a six pin connector, but you're only using three of them, right? So if you notice, I've got three of these still attached to the OEM wire harness. The ones that I cut was the yellow wire. You can see that right here, yellow, white, and black and white, okay? So again, yellow, white, black and white, okay? See that right there? The ones that you're leaving is the green and whatever color this is, the brown and the black and gold. Uh, I don't know. Um, not really too sure what those goes for, but uh, I couldn't, you know, I'm pretty sure that for the front turn signals, again, I'm not using front turn signals on this bike because I replaced them with the carbon intakes. Um, I mean, that's the only thing I could think that those were for. My horn still works and everything, so. Um, yeah, so like I said, all you need is the yellow, the white, and the black and white um, line cut. If I remember correctly, I didn't really test it, but just going from the wires, the uh, teal looking one is for the turn signal. Um, the brown one, or the black and whatever color that is, is for the other turn signal. And then it looks like the brown one is for the, like, yellow running lights up here none of those i need none of those you can use with the carbon headlight so i just chose to leave them on there like i said i want a clean oem install so this is a color reveal on the busa you know i kind of wanted to hold this off until i was done with it but i kind of don't really have a choice considering i'm showing you guys how to install this headlight so this is the this is the color scheme for the busa hope you guys like it okay so purple and black I think, it, I think it's going to look dope. So your connector, your OEM connector, this thing right here, you're going to want to use the white wire 
if you got this from Montgomery, white wire goes to the yellow wire right here. Yellow wire right here goes to the red wire right here. Black and white goes to the black wire right there, as you can see. Okay, now what that's gonna do is the Montgomery headlight comes with, it's a yellow and a white beam, like a dual, dual beam or whatnot. So what I chose to do is the yellow beam is my low beam, the white is my high beam on the on the switches. I don't know if it's actually high beam and low beam, um, but like I said, I wanted I didn't want it to be one color in case like the yellow was too dim at, for at night. So um, yellow is for daytime, white is for nighttime. So that's how I chose to wire it up. And like I said, the instructions right here it says. Um, Black wire is ground, red wire is for the main headlight. It says white, but like I said, I chose to make it yellow. So my red wire is my red wire is for the uh, the yellow light. So basically says red wire for the main white light, changes to yellow, that's what I did. So red wire is for the yellow light. The yellow wire is for the white light. That's my secondary, okay? So, so like I said, just to reiterate, the yellow light is my low beam, the white light is my high beam, okay? So the yellow is for day, white is at night. All right, so I hope this comes through clearly. So you can see, Jesus, that's bright. As you can see, that's my low beam, there's my high beam, okay? So you see me pressing here, low beam is the yellow, high beam is the white, so night mode, day mode. Okay, now you probably got you guys are probably asking, does your high beam like pass button work? Yes, it does. So as you can see, yellow, high beams, white. Okay, so if you want to do it like me, that's all you gotta do. Alright, hope you guys like that video. Stay tuned in. We're gonna keep doing some more work on this beast, and uh let's continue on with the next video. See you! If you like today's video, hit the like button. Also, subscribe to this channel. That way, whenever I drop any new content, you'll be the first to know. If you have any comments, drop them down below. Remember, I'm here for you guys. So anything you want to see, let me know and I'll make the video for you. Thanks for tuning in.